How I found my way to natural herbal remedies Hi. I'm Teresita Sanchez You can call me Tess I am a registered chemist I finished my Bachelor of Science in Chemistry and Master Degree of Food Chemistry from University of Philippines I have worked a pharmaceutical and chemical companies. In 2007, my mother who was preparing to join my sister in Canada died due to collapsed kidney. She had a stroke but had recovered and was undergoing therapy, on that particular day June 2007, her caregiver forgot to bring water, since there was no water available in the rehab center, the caregiver just bought soft drinks for my mom. However, when they arrived home my mom started vomiting. This vomiting spell continued till midnight so we brought my mom to the hospital, on the third day of her confinement, she got comatose due to this, we transferred her to another hospital in the new hospital. We found out that her kidney had collapsed due to drug overdose, the doctor told us that upon review of her medical records, they saw that she was given 14 kinds of medicine some which are taken three times a day, she died after seven days. It was a wake-up call for me I realized that pharma drug is not a win-win option for us, because it cures only the symptoms but not the root cause. Resulting in the damage to our organs such as kidney and liver. I searched for better option a win-win option that will not kill our inner doctor, and will not accumulate in our body but rather strengthen our body through time. This bring me back to time when we're still kids. Whenever we are sick, our mom does not bring us to the doctor rather she is bringing us to the old lady we call, Lola Oliva. She is faith healer whenever we have fever, cough etc. She gives us decoctions and herbs like oregano for cough, demong maria for fever, we grew up under her care so we rarely go to the doctor. Thus, when had our kids, we will also bring our kids to her whenever they are sick, when Lola Olive was about 80 years old, she talked to me and asked me if I would want to learn about natural healing. She showed to me all her notes and she said if I have time I could go to her house and read them. During that time, I was already working for the biggest pharmaceutical company in the Philippines. So I just ignored her offer. It was when my mom died that I recalled her offer. However, it was too late because she died already and her house had been sold and demolished. I did my own research and studied natural herbal remedies that are already proven to be effective, safe and do not have adverse reaction or side effect fortunately, the World Health Organization, WHO, and our Department of Health, DOE, had done initiatives with regard of these alternative medicines. DOE had already published a list of approved herbal remedies with specific cure. The Immune Boosting Herbal Remedies book I wrote includes all of these DOE approved herbal remedies. Do you want to learn how can boost your immune system using natural herbal remedies? Warning. Long-term usage of maintenance medicine has been shown to damage you body. These natural herbal bee remedies do not have any harmful side effects, and they are twice as effective. I'm going to make a bold assumption here. You're currently facing some health issues, they're not severe, but they are annoying and tedious to deal with. You started using certain medicines and although they might have worked temporarily, the pain started to coming back. Or you're simply looking for healthier approach, to medicine a much more natural method of helping your body increase its immune system. Either way, you're in the right place. The natural remedies I'm about to talk have little to no side effects, and our forefathers have been using them over 1000 of years. They have been proven to be completely safe and effective, but there is unfortunately a catch on this natural herbal remedies. If you are currently taking pharmaceutical drugs, and you want to try natural herbal remedies, you should consult your doctor first, let's talk about how I can help you. I can teach you how to boost your immune system prevent disease, and nourish yourself using natural and beneficial herbal remedies that don't have any side effects. How did I come up with these natural remedies? Well I didn't come up with them meaning I didn't invent them myself. All of the natural herbal remedied I will teach you are cures, that our great forefathers have been using for centuries. Of course I went deeper, I started learning why they work, and I used modern concepts to amplify them, while of course still keeping them completely natural. While modern medicine loses its potency the more you use it, these natural herbal remedies will build up over time. They will keep strengthening your immune system with every use, meaning that the more you use them the more effective they'll be. And guess what, you can even add these natural herbal remedies to your food. Unlike modern medicine, 
Every single ingredient used in these natural herbal remedies is edible, and even more than, they're actually tasty. If you know what you're doing. Now you might be thinking. All of this sounds amazing. But why should I trust you? Great question. After working in the pharmaceutical as well as in other chemical fields for more than 20 years, I've seen how this industry really works and trust me, it's not pretty. Since then I've been constantly researching natural alternatives, to promote the body natural healing process in the form of natural herbal medicines. So are you ready to take the next step and start using, natural herbal remedies to boost your immune system? Prevent disease, and nourish yourself? With natural herbal remedies, protecting yourself from devastating, and other life-threatening diseases may be simpler and more affordable than you think. That's right. You no longer have to worry about getting hit by life-threatening disease without any self-protection. When you know how to boost your immune system, prevent disease, and nourish yourself.